chicken nuggets. I love chicken nuggets. In fact, I love them so much that I have them in two different freezers in my apartment here. They're a great snack. And frankly, I've had them ever since I was a kid, all the time. In just that freezer over there, I have about 10 bags of frozen large chicken tenders. And in this freezer over here, I have a bunch of dino nuggets, which arguably are the best out there. What if you wanna go get chicken nuggets at a fast food restaurant? Well, just like we've already been to every fast food place around to find the best burger and the best crispy chicken sandwich, which was quite filling, but quite fun, I've gotten a lot of requests. So today we're gonna hit the road once again and drive all over creation to find the best chicken nuggets we can possibly find. And at the end, I'm gonna come back and rank them all for you so you never have to wonder again, what are the best chicken nuggets out there? Next time you're on a road trip or next time you wanna grab a quick little lunch, I got you covered. But just one thing, before I say another word, please go down and click that like button. I cannot describe to you how much I appreciate you watching the videos, but I also could never even explain how much this helps. So I'll wait just a second while you go down and just click that like button. It's super easy and I would so appreciate it. Now for our nuggets. We're en route, we're going to probably stop at Chick-fil-A first, because frankly, I'm just gonna get a sandwich there as well, but we need to try their nuggets. I've tried their nuggets before. Again, like I do in all of these videos, I'm gonna try to go into this without any opinions at all. I'm gonna pretend I've never tasted any of these things in my life, and frankly, I don't even know what Popeyes has to offer. Do they have nuggets? Do they not? I don't know, I actually don't know. So I'm sure a lot of you watching do, and you probably already know what's gonna happen when I ask for them, but I think they probably have them, so Let's go figure it out. I'm super excited. We're gonna try pretty much every nugget out there in the world today. So let's get to Chick-fil-A. Here we go, Chick-fil-A. We always come to the same one because as you know, you know, there's not that many Chick-fil-A's around here. So we're back. It looks like there's already a little bit of a crowd here this morning. And I think Chick-fil-A will be a good place to start off with in terms of getting nuggets. Because again, I mean, Chick-fil-A, they do chicken well, but I'm not coming into this with any thoughts. I'm not, I'm ready to eat. Let's go, it's early in the morning, right? It's early, we woke up early, got you out of bed early. Three of the five piece chicken nuggets, just like a, a bunch of Chick-fil-A sauce on the side. Everybody, this right here is the new card. I mean, we are going to be using this bad boy to buy more food than really you could ever imagine. We had to get something with a knife on there because I, I just thought it fit really well with what we're doing. So might as well have it be in theme, you know what I mean? All right. Thank you so much. Chick-fil-A, we've been here before, we're here again. Now, first thing I wanna say, as always, I love their branding, they do a fantastic job. Look at this cute little five piece nugget thing, okay? I really, really like that. No antibiotics, this is fantastic, okay? They cook it in peanut oil, that's top notch. That's top notch, okay? One thing I love right away, to dip or not to dip? Of course we're gonna dip. First of all, it's hot, it's fresh, it's the morning, we're probably one of their first orders of chicken nuggets today. These things look really good, right? You can see the strands of the chicken. This is a real actual piece of chicken as opposed to a bunch of ground chicken put into a nugget form. First, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna taste one plain, all right? I wanna see what they're doing with seasoning here. I wanna see how hot it is, all right? One more bite with a little bit of crispiness. Look at that. That is juicy right there. See that juice? Oh, look who just texted me. Anyone know Google Foods? He's a good guy. Just shot me a little texture. That's nice. I wish Google Foods was here to try the chicken with me. He knows how to talk about meat, right? He's good at that stuff. He's like the Wagyu expert of the world right now. This chicken seasoning, right away I'll say, actually kind of reminds me of the seasoning that they use at Wendy's. And I'm not sure why. And we can try to compare this to Wendy's later, but it's got a unique seasoning to it. And it's it's actually really, really well seasoned. Now naturally we need some Chick-fil-A sauce for this. You already all know that I absolutely hate the way that their sauce packages are set up at this place. They're impossible to open up. Once you got that beautiful Chick-fil-A sauce and once we drench one of these nuggets, because sauce is extraordinarily important, that simply can't be beat. You got that honey mustard, you got that mayo, it's creamy, it's got all sorts of flavor, it's fantastic. So I'm gonna rate this pretty highly on the scale in terms of nuggets, but we are only just getting started. It's still early in the morning. We have a lot of places to hit. So let's head on to that next spot. Looks like we got McDonald's coming up right here. They are now hiring. Go oh, off, you are fired. All right, guys, I'm holding the camera myself. I have once again fired Manny. He just dropped the mic, which happens to be mine. I was letting him borrow it, so he is fired. And this time it is real. So I know a lot of people are starting to kind of catch feelings for him and stuff, but I really, I don't know, I really don't know what to tell you. You can only give someone so many chances. So um, I'm gonna try to do this POV style. I'll try to get as much as I can and we should be totally good. All right, so Manny came crying back to the car. I let him back in. I shouldn't have, but this is the last time, so. Let's order this McDonald's. Two sets of the 10 piece chicken McNuggets and then just a couple assorted sauces, please. I got a question. We're driving around to every like fast food place trying nuggets today. Do you, got, you have a favorite? Give me one second. 
Okay. I think he's taking someone's order. I like ours. Yeah. Ours are, ours are actually really good. Naturally, you have. To. It's actually funny. I asked one time here, like someone working here, and they said they listed every sandwich. I asked like what the best burger was. They listed all of them except for me. I don't know why they didn't list McDonald's. I was the one with the chicken sandwich. Were you? Popeyes. Was that you? That was me. What was your finding? I think the best one. Yeah. Popeyes. Popeyes. I 100% agreement. That was him. Oh, that was yeah. him. He's back. He's did there. you see the video or no? I did. Yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah. I want to see what you say about the chicken nuggets though. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try him out. Thank All you right, so much. Yeah, hey, nice to see you again. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Have a good one. Good day. Yep. Okay. Substantial paper towels. Eh, we can't complain. We're gonna need them today. I asked for assorted sauce. They gave me a bunch of sweet and sour. Very, very different style, clearly, than Chick Fil A, right? If we just open that sweet and sour sauce, it's very gummy and gooey and sticky. Okay. I don't know if I like the consistency of sweet and sour sauce, but when I was a kid, big fan. In terms of the chicken nuggets, obviously he's waiting for our review and I, I don't want to review it right in front of him because I don't know if he's the one that cooked it or whatever, but he's clearly got some sort of devotion to this. I'm not biased. You know that I'm here to tell you what the best nuggets are. I'm going to tell you honestly straight up. These look really crispy. They're really hot. They smell pretty good. I know obviously that McDonald's doesn't have that real, you know, chicken hunk that they put in there. It's ground up chicken, which is fine. Ground chicken nuggets. That's how I make my chicken nuggets usually. Let's take a little dip in that sweet and sour and let's just dive in. Hmm. You can see the inside. I mean, it's okay. I definitely don't think it has that same seasoning that they have at Chick-fil-A, and we just obviously experienced a lot of seasoning there at Chick-fil-A, a relatively large amount of seasoning compared to this, at least. The weird thing is you can see these darker kind of black specks on the outside of these chicken nuggets, which makes it look like they have more seasoning. But in reality, they really don't have that much. And I don't want to be mean, but not a fan. I'm holding back a little bit actually, because I really like that guy in there. He's a nice guy, he's cool. And I know he's gonna see this video, but I'm not gonna rate these ahead of Chick-fil-A. They're okay nuggets. The sauce selection is not quite as good. They don't have any sort of special sauce to my knowledge. I don't know, the, the, the interior is is lacking. That meat is, is lacking. I don't really know what to tell you, man. All right, Popeyes everybody. This is, a, this is obviously a fan favorite. Oftentimes when it comes to chicken, I don't know what they have to offer when it comes to chicken nuggets. I actually have no remote clue. I see that they have fried pickles so if they can fry off pickles they clearly can fry chicken but let's see if they can make nuggets i, I don't know if they have nuggets kobe oh oh yes hi um you guys have chicken nuggets no some to the tender oh uh, you have tenders two orders of five piece tenders one spicy and one mild please can we do ranch and barbecue please thank you have a good one. Number one, I don't like the waste here. There's two separate bags, plastic bags, for just two small little containers of chicken. So Popeyes, I gotta say, I'm not happy about that. But with that said, they don't toss nearly as many napkins inside there, which is great. First thing I'll say, first impressions when I look at this, it is a lot lighter than most Popeyes chicken that I've gotten. They need to fry this longer. I don't think they fried this long enough. In fact, I go so far as to say this is like potentially undercooked. I'm actually kind of sketched out right now. Let me open this up. I mean, Popeyes, what are we doing? out here today guys come on it's like borderline like not fully cooked i'm a little bit confused too and it smells so freaking good and your seasoning is on point i think they might have just rushed my order those are insane too they're not chicken nuggets though unfortunately even though that tastes mind-blowingly good we're gonna have to disqualify popeyes because i don't think they have any chicken nuggets and quite frankly even if they did have chicken nuggets i don't know if these are cooked these ones are cooked look at the difference on these what is that what is that what is that that is the most pale chicken i've ever seen this over here popeyes looks great what happened here i'm actually genuinely concerned right now all right popeyes you are redeeming yourselves a little bit with this but i am not going to eat that first one because i think it's legitimately undercooked all right but let's dive in with this because this looks like someone actually cooked it. I'm gonna drop it in there, and then I'm gonna show you guys all a little good trick here. If you ever don't have special sauce from a restaurant, make your own. Barbecue, ranch, you got that creaminess, you got that tanginess, same kind of thing that you get from a special sauce, okay? Here we go. Hmm. It's a shame, guys, it really is. Oh, these are the spicy ones. Maybe that's why they're dark. It's a shame for a few reasons. One, that you guys don't have any nuggets that I can judge. And two, one of your orders of chicken that you just gave us was undercooked. I mean, I, I don't really know how else to say it. That is disappointing. Popeyes, you know I absolutely love you. I'm not gonna knock this one on you. You're just gonna get disqualified purely because you don't have chicken nuggets, so. Everyone, if you're looking for quick little nugget bites, Popeyes doesn't really have them. I wish they would bring them back or I wish they would create them, but they don't have them. So let's move on to good old Burger King. We are here right around the corner again at Burger King. I don't think we've been to this Burger King before. So yeah, let's let's try out their chicken nuggets. I feel like Burger King always did a good job with seasoning. I always appreciated their seasoning. Their burgers have that char, barbecue-y type grilled flavor, which is really unique and I don't see at any other fast food restaurant. And I'm hoping that their nuggets are gonna have that flavor that we're looking for. 
Evidently, somebody bashed in the screen of Burger King, so they've taken matters into their own hands and they've created this little thing that looks like a robot. So, And you can't even hear anything, which is even better. You can't hear a thing, because there's a huge truck that they have. Can I help you? Two orders of 10-piece nuggets. Uh, just a few sauces on the side, please. Look at how cheap the nuggets are. $1.49 per 10-piece. So, Lord only knows what they put in these nuggets. Burger King usually doesn't screw around. We, we've had a couple slamming doors in the past here at Burger King, but uh, this one looks a little bit more tame. Thank you. All right, well, we are headed to the next spot. Burger King does it a little bit differently. They have these uh, little bags that they give you. And frankly, these nuggets are large. There's some big nuggets here. They have that look on the outside to tell you and suggest that they have seasoning. But the real question is, will they have seasoning, right? And I don't really know the answer to that until I dive in. So let's go ahead and grab one of these nuggets. I will say right away, it actually looks pretty good. It's crispy. It's got a nice feel to it. You could tell that it's a solid nugget, right? Here we go. I'm so confused right now. I don't really understand how to say this other than the fact that when I just bit into that, if I closed my eyes and didn't see what it was, you could tell me that it was a donut and I would kind of believe you. I really don't know what to tell you about it. It tastes like I went to Dunkin' Donuts. It's kind of sweet. It's not bad, but it has something about it that's, that's shockingly reminiscent to a donut. I don't know what to tell you. I think what it is, is whatever fat they're using in these is a similar fat that they would use for donuts. And I don't know if they're shortening in here. I don't know what it is, but there's some sort of combination of sweetness and shortening or fat that makes it taste a little bit like a savory donut. So if you like sweet chicken nuggets that taste like donuts, head on over to Burger King, everybody. Here, reach into this bag right here. I'm not gonna fire you. I'm not gonna, you're fired. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, give it a try. Oh my god. <laughs> it like it's like a donut. Like a donut. It's right? like a donut. Try it. Maybe we got a weird batch. I swear this is like a donut. And right here we have arrived at KFC. And if you remember from a previous video, we did also visit this location. I believe everybody was very friendly. Was it was it this location? Yeah? I hope they have chicken nuggets. Do you have chicken nuggets? I have a popcorn chicken. Oh perfect. Sure, we'll just do a large popcorn chicken. We're trying chicken nuggets like everywhere today. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of nuggets though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you too. Thank you. Ha! Ah, so hot! Whoa! Wow! Try to hold this. Is it hot? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so hot! Ooh, I think we got too much. <laughs> That's so much. <laughs> I got two of them. No wonder it took them like a while to cook. This looks great. Cut the cam. Cut the cam. <sighs> when I talk about food, I like to talk about temperature. Temperature is extraordinarily important when it comes to food. Whether it's a fast food restaurant or the finest restaurant out there, three Michelin star, top of the line, everything. Temperature is important. This bite of chicken that I'm having right now out of this thing that's piping hot, literally burning my hands, is most certainly a better bite of chicken than I could have at some three Michelin star restaurants out there. And that is a fact, in my opinion. It's hot, it's really, really juicy if you can see that. It's extremely well seasoned, and it's actually just really good chicken. But can you see this juice? Could you see it or no? This right here, as far as what we've had today, is the best chicken. It hits all the boxes. And I know, I got a little bit lucky because I came here still early in the morning before the big lunch rush, and they clearly made it fresh for me. But I mean, just look at that chicken right there. That is some seriously badass chicken. And this is more popcorn chicken than I've ever seen in my life, but I'm not bad about it. So right here, I also didn't know that KFC has a KFC sauce. So when I asked her for assorted sauce, she gave it to me. So let's see how this compares to Chick-fil-A, for instance. I mean, honestly, it's kind of a carbon copy of Chick-fil-A sauce. If you put those sauces side by side, I think I'd have a fairly difficult time telling them apart. So KFC, you are onto something, my friends. You are onto something. We made it. Wendy's, we're here. They're gonna be good. They're gonna be good, I hope. We have a pretty general sense probably in our heads of the ratings at this point. And there have been actually some really good nuggets that we've already tried, but we do have a few places left to check out and Wendy's is one of them. So I'm curious to see how this plays out. Yes, hi, um, can I please do uh, three orders of four piece nuggets? Can I just do one big uh, water please as well? That's it. Everybody, I think that Wendy might be here. This person, this person has fully red hair that's just inside the window and I think it might be Wendy. Can you see her? She's can you here. actually? I think that's Wendy. Wendy. Be chill, be chill, be cool. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a good one. Hey, Wendy. No, don't. <laughs> Why would you say that? Wait. What is this? <laughs> what the f Wendy? <laughs> Where's the water? It's a cup of ice. <laughs> Wendy, what are you doing? <laughs> what is this? What is this, Wendy? It's a cup of... 
There was just a cup of ice. What are you doing here, Wendy? These nuggets, they're piping hot, okay? They're literally piping hot. Look at them. They look pretty good, right? They look pretty good and they smell pretty good. Let's just go for it. I hope this is crispy. It's either dead last or second to last. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. I'm gonna be honest, because of the heat, and you know I talked about temperature, it's really important to me that it comes out hot. I'm gonna rank this just above uh, McDonald's. So, you know what? They're the same kind of nuggets, and to be honest, I didn't wanna say it, but coming into it, I had the idea in my mind that these would be very similar to McDonald's. I mean, they're fine. They're okay nuggets. They're not great nuggets. They're fine, but again, I'm a little bit confused why Wendy gave me a cup of ice. I'm not gonna knock off points for that. Kind of a weird move by them, so. We're here, raising canes. We're gonna go get those chicken Finger chicken nuggets. I, we might have to disqualify them too because they're technically not chicken nuggets, so I'm not sure what to say. That guy just started blasting his music while we were filming, so that's fine, but we're gonna go inside. All right, Cane's never really has the fancy packaging, but you know what? We don't need that. It's like a hole in the wall restaurant. If the food's good, who cares what it looks like? You know what I mean? Inside, of course, everything looks nice and shiny golden brown. Not really sure what the whole craze with the bread is. I get it if you're really hungry and it's not horrible, but I don't really care so much about the bread. I want that chicken. For this chicken, I'm gonna let you make the call. Are we gonna disqualify them for this honestly I hate to say it but I kind of think we have to disqualify them right off the bat before I even dive into it purely because these aren't chicken nuggets and we needed them to be chicken nuggets but with that said we at least owe them to take a nice bite holy crap that hot that is so hot here's what I'll quickly say it's very hot almost too hot it's extraordinarily fresh and again I like this sauce because it's unique and it's tangy and it's it's really well seasoned I would say that they have the most advanced sauce out of all the fast food restaurants in terms of the seasoning and in terms of what a real chef would appreciate when it comes to seasoning and proper amounts of seasoning so all in all a really good chicken tender but these are no nuggets so Canes I'm sorry but I don't think we can put you on the list we're here at Shake Shack actually in my old stomping ground in Harvard Square let's go all right, Shake Shack. We got our chicken there. Chick, mm, all white meat. Why would you brag about that? I have to say, opening these up right away, these chicken tenders, they look extraordinary. I'm gonna say that. They're perfectly golden brown. They're crispy. They look awesome. They smell great. Although they smell a little bit more oily than I would want fried chicken to smell, if I'm being completely honest. However, it's time for us to take a little bite. If it's all white meat, what is that? What is that on the chicken? What the heck is that? What are you laughing about? All right, I'm gonna give him another shot. I'm gonna try again with another piece. That was not all white meat, whatever that thing was. Oh God, extraordinarily overcooked. I mean, they cooked it, they cooked it some more, and then they cooked it again, and then they reheated it. If you can look at that chicken right there, you can see that it's very kind of dry and fibrous. There's no fat, there's no juice. It's really, really dry. In fact, I need a drink or I need some sort of sauce to eat this with. So the chicken from the outside here looks fantastic. And in fact, if I was looking at them all from the outside and had to judge them based on the look of them, I'd put this pretty high up. But once I dive into this chicken, I mean, I'll try another piece here, but really dry. So Shake Shack, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sort of bummed out right now. Now that's a lot of chicken nuggets. As we talk rankings here, I wanna start from the bottom to the top. So, drum roll please for the very dead last spot. And coming from a place that certainly has other things out there that I love, we have the McDonald's chicken nuggets. Today, I'm sad to say that they just fell short a little bit. And don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of McDonald's and they make some pretty good stuff, but these nuggets just didn't make the cut. The actual chicken meat didn't have that much flavor. And even though the guy at McDonald's that we met was super cool and gave us some super honest feedback, both this time and during our crispy chicken sandwich challenge, I can't take Take that into account here. Sorry, I just can't. Next up are two places that are quite similar to McDonald's if you really just take a close look at all the nuggets side by side. I'm willing to bet that most people would have a hard time telling these three nuggets apart. And one's from McDonald's, one's from Burger King, and one's from Wendy's. I'm just bummed to say that they really didn't impress me and they had that kind of same thing as McDonald's except they were really, really warm and hot. And to me, like I said, temperature's really important with food and McDonald's just didn't have that really hot nugget. Next up for today, and this is gonna come as a shocker to many people, Popeyes. And yeah, I'm sad to say it because they have a damn good crispy chicken sandwich. And you know what? Maybe on a different day, if I went to Popeyes, they'd fare a little bit better in these rankings, but today they didn't. But keep in mind, not only can we not really rank Popeyes, we also can't really rank Raising Cane's. So Cane's and Popeyes, I'm sorry to say, but you both kind of been disqualified though. If you're gonna pull my leg and make me choose one right now, I have to actually choose Cane's. This Popeyes just wasn't fully cooked. And while I don't think I would have gotten sick from it or anything, that chicken just needed more time in the fryer. I know Cane's has a cult-like following and it's really good stuff. Definitely different than the rest. But this bad boy right here, as delicious as it might be, it's not a nugget. Now, ranking just a little bit above the ones we've gone over so far is Shake Shack. Again, 
Like I said, the seasoning was good, or at least it smelled pretty good, but that chicken was just as dry as the Sahara Desert. I mean, I seriously needed water to eat these things. I definitely wasn't gonna get that water from Wendy's, given they're giving out cups of ice now. Almost taking the win, but not quite, was Chick-fil-A. With these extremely cute little cases, their chicken nuggets were delicious. And like always, I had to get a few of these sandwiches on the way through. But they didn't quite have what it takes to win because today our winner also happens to be the place with the largest bag of anybody, Kentucky Fried Chicken or good old KFC. This old guy dancing really knows how to make some chicken. And I ordered absolutely way too much. But we can't disqualify them because popcorn chicken totally counts to me as chicken nuggets. It's the same thing, it's just a different name. These nuggets were very, very piping hot. They had great seasoning and they were the juiciest nuggets we tasted out of anybody's, which is really admirable to me, given that they're smaller than a lot of the other nuggets, which have more space overall to have that juiciness, have that fat. Yet, none of them seem to have it. I so badly wanted KFC to win in that crispy chicken challenge that we had before, but it couldn't take down the behemoth Popeyes. So I'm really happy that they stepped up this time and took home the win. Well, now you know. Next time you're driving around aimlessly wondering which of the many fast food places to go to to get a good old hot set of chicken nuggets, you got a much better idea of where to head. And I hope this helped. Again, please don't forget to like this video because it helps so incredibly much. Smack that subscribe button because you know what's coming up next, right? The best fries. I have probably several hundred chicken nuggets to finish up, so I'll see you next time.